Okay, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since <laughs> since I last uploaded a video. Um, yeah, I know you guys missed me. Well, I've been doing some nine to fives here and there. Uh, I got caught up with some projects, but yeah, I'm now I'm now free. And today, I just want to share with you something simple, something that. Um, uh some of you have been struggling with and yeah that is render times today we are just going to do a simple simple um rendering tutorial that's going to look at how you can speed up your render time because yeah you know sometimes those render times can get crazy especially when you're doing an animation and it's it's time bound yeah so today we are just going to we're just going to look through how to speed up the render times. So um, here I have this wooden bottle. I created this um, last night. I was just doing something just to um, get out of my creative block. So I created this. That's something simple. But um, this was taking me around five to six minutes per frame and that, that that is quite really really high you can imagine with all this detail that is quite really high and yeah one of the things that i i usually do and that is the first thing that you're going to do um is set up my render engine so Cinema 4D 2024 comes with Redshift as as its default render engine. So if you're if you're paying for Redshift, um, this is going to be easier for you. And this is for people who use Redshift. The first thing you're going to do is when you're rendering your your project, you need to switch from progressive rendering to bucket rendering. Yes, progressive can give you some clean renders but it takes a lot, lot, lot more time to get it done. A frame, you might find a frame, a frame is taking like 10 minutes to get done because it has to go and clean it up slowly by slowly. So it takes a longer time. So you need to switch from progressive to bucket rendering. And then the other thing you need to do um, is turn on the denoising. Now we are going to do a little comparison here. We are going to render um, a frame with denoising on and a frame with denoising without denoising. So let's just render out this real quick. You can see how my bucket rendering is going faster. So I, I have less worries if it was with. Uh, progressive it would be taking some time I'm going to speed this up and then we'll catch up on the next part well um, this has taken 1 minute and 41 seconds so I'm going to turn on denoising and then we see how long it will take I'm not going to first touch the other settings that I usually put in so let's first see how long this will take with denoising on and then we'll get back okay surprisingly this one has taken longer than I had expected maybe that is because it is denoising at the same time you can see this there's a difference between this and this yeah there is a, a huge difference this has detail this doesn't have detail that much detail of course if you're to have faster faster render times you're going to then sacrifice the details for the render time now the next thing that i like to do is under the unified sampling tab i like to change this to let's say like one it's a bit high but yeah it, it's it's going to get the work done it's going to get the animation 
um, rendering faster. So you're going to we're going to compare the time it takes for for it to to render with the unified sampling threshold put on one. Let's see how that is going to how long that is going to take. You can already see how fast it is. I'm not even going to speed this up, but you can already see how fast it is. Yeah, you can see how fast it is already. And this frame is going to take probably like half the time the first frame took you get. So the, when you're rendering, you need to you need to adjust these settings. Of course, if you have the capability and the machine power to render with the unified sampling on 0 0.01 then it's it, it's okay but if you don't have that capacity and if you don't have that time to wait and your client is putting you on pressure to have the work delivered faster you will need to adjust the settings of the unified sampling it is the one that usually takes a lot of time because the render engine has to calculate per per, per Per frame it has to calculate like how how many how many samples it it uh, it renders out so this is with unified sampling turned to zero you can still see um, turn to one sorry you can see we still have a little bit of detail right still have a little bit of detail and we are rendering it at 57 seconds that is almost half the time we are spending on one frame you get that is half the time you are spending on on uh, on one frame. So you can go on and experiment. If you added this to 1.5, I mean, the higher you go, the faster it will become. But of course, you will lose um, details in on your model. So the higher you go, the faster it will become. This is on 0 0.1 on 0 on 1.5. Yeah, 1.5, and you see how fast it is. I'm sure it is going to still give us like half the time of the previous frame yeah so yeah guys that is how you render out your animations faster the key thing is at the unified sampling and denoising make sure your, de your denoiser is on and your unified samples are high not low that is how you're going to get faster render times and you can see it, it it works like magic it is rendering faster if you have the capability again i will say this if you have the capability if your machine can handle rendering things at the default settings of of redshift it, it, it it's absolutely okay you you'd still get the the same results you'll get in fact much better results you see this is 56 almost just one second below but yeah that is how you render out that is how you increase your your render times if you're out there and you wanted to increase your render times well this is for you i hope it has helped you and if this has helped you you can click on the subscribe button share the link with other people and then yeah keep the community growing i forgot to shout out to those who have been subscribing to the channel thank you for the good work you guys have been doing um i've not been uploading that much but you guys have kept on uh you've kept the the channel growing i think next time i'm going to do a tutorial on how i texture this car this bottle yeah i'm going to do a tutorial on how i texture this bottle and yeah how you get this nice wood texture you can see here without the the what um without denoising you see you can ha you have the scratches you have what you have all the details there so next time we shall do a tutorial on how you can texture the bottle like this thank you guys until next time um keep on subscribing onto the channel if you're new to the channel keep the channel growing and thank you for the love guys until next time peace